Hi everybody. I'm often asked if I paint watercolors while traveling. I do indeed take along a small watercolor travel kit. I wanted to share with you tips on how to create your own watercolor travel kit. Here are some of the items you'll need. 6x9 premium sketchbook for mixed media. One 6x9 aluminum holder. One small porcelain palette several single full pans, one collapsible water cup, a pair of scissors, an unused sponge, two part epoxy glue, and mixing sticks, which we'll cut down. The aluminum holder has a nice sturdy clip to put your sketchbook in. There's a narrow bar that helps lock in your brushes and pencils, which comes in quite handy. I really like working on porcelain, so I chose a small porcelain palette with 12 wells to mix my colors. This is really only preference, but porcelain is preferred when painting watercolors. It fits nicely into place, and I won't make it permanent so it can be removed and cleaned. Next I use six watercolor pens and only put three in my kit for now. In my next video, I take you plain air with me on location to show you how well these beautiful pins work. Everything fits in nicely and the crossbar acts as a secure to hold the items for drawing and as well as my brushes. Keeps everything in place. I used one paint stick that was free from the hardware store and cut it down to mix my two-part epoxy glue. Next, I planned out how many full watercolor pans I wanted my kit to have. In this instance, I used 15 full pans. So I added a small collapsible water cup as well to my kit, which the list for all these items will be available on my website for download. These little cups actually hold a good amount of water. They never rust and save space in a tote, purse, or backpack while in the field. So now that I have determined my layout, I removed my brushes and pens to secure the watercolor pans. The two-part epoxy mixes and applies easily and really works to secure them to the aluminum surface. So far nothing has shifted or come loose. Mixing about a quarter size of the glue, it was plenty to secure all 15 pans. So I will speed up the process and show you my final layout. Next, I measured how wide I wanted my sponge to be cut to. Then I cut it and put it in place so it will clear my brushes and pens.
After that, I added some of my favorite colors to the foil pans by filling them with tube watercolors. You can purchase pigment pans, but I work from tube colors and that's my preference so I'm using what I already have. Next up, I will take you on a field trip with me as well as show you how I adapted this kit to connect easily to my tripod for a nice field surface to work on. If you've enjoyed this tip video and would like to see more of my full-length step-by-step tutorials, please visit my website where you can sign up to be notified when my watercolor classes will be available. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing.